What we have here is a microwave oven transformer with the high voltage side replaced by a bit of 16 mil cable. The voltage of the output is being measured by this meter. The voltage of the input is being measured by this meter and the current of the input is being measured by this meter. So currently we have two and a half amps, 240 volts going in. You would think that that would make about a 600 watt load if you were to multiply volts times amps, despite the fact that this is currently open circuit at one and a half volts on the output. No load, so it should be in principle no power. And this is where timesing volts times amps gives you the wrong answer. We now have the exact same setup, apart from the fact I've changed which meter I'm using. Measuring the voltage of the input, the current of the input, the output is still unloaded. We have 240 volts. Two or three amps but at this point the current times the voltage does not equal the power we only have 70 watts what is going on there the answer is it's an unloaded transformer the power factor is absolutely atrocious for someone like me that very rarely crimps connections as big as this, I think this little contraption is very handy. It's intended for you to hit this bit with a hammer, but I find it a bit more controlled to just put it in the vise. It's a much, much cheaper way of doing it than getting a proper hydraulic crimper. Um, and it's a lot more portable as well. And all you do is tighten up the vise, and you can see in here, it has all um, squished the connector. We now have amps going in, amps coming out. They're both set to AC. I'm all safetyed up. Let us see what happens. Not a lot. Set to DC. Idiot. Right. Flat meter now set to AC. Let's see what happens now. Goes over range. Well, that's irritating. Okay, reconvened. We've now got the small clamp meter measuring the input and we've got the big clamp meter measuring the output. Let's see if that still goes over range. many many amps now that's quite good so given that this has a 600 amp maximum range i'm a little surprised it was actually reading anything there but great i now know that this can read massively over range so that's handy uh next thing to do is now to measure the power going into the transformer now that it is short circuited right i've now got the clamp meter set up to measure the power of the input. I'm going to go through this quite quickly because the cables are getting a little bit warm. Uh, turns out 16 mil cable isn't really very good for 700 amps. Um, so currently it's off, it's reading 0 watts. On, it's reading 700 watts. Power factor is a bit better at now 0.5. Okay, so we now have an M8 bolt, 35mm cable, maximum current carrying capacity is somewhere around the 200 amp mark of that. Um, obviously 700 amps is a bit more than 200, but it's the fattest cable I've got. Clamp meter set onto its highest range. Um, the reason I'm using this one is because I don't really care if I get molten metal on it, but I do kind of care about the other one. Let's see what happens.
Oh, I should say this is an M8 bit of threaded rod. We've got to start somewhere, right? And yes, I should have cleaned all the zinc off first, but I didn't. Insulation on the cable doesn't seem to be doing very well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's quite hot. Right. The M8 bolt failed. We've now got an M6 bolt. Because an M6 bolt should be easier to melt than an M8 bolt, you'd think. Let us try that again. Four hundred and fifty amps. Incidentally, these are thirty five square mil jump cables, so, um, yeah, cheapest way of buying thick cable. Oh, there we go, great success. Spurred on by the success of the M6 bolt, I've now gone back to the M8 bolt, except I've put the terminals much, much closer together um, to see if that helps. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Um, safety equipment engaging, and then we will turn on. There we go. Power. Ah, much higher current this time. We've got 650 amps. That's interesting. Very interesting. Um, these, I think, are allegedly 800 amp jump leads, but we all know that's a load of rubbish. You always need to take that sort of thing with a large pinch of salt. Well, this isn't very exciting. M6 bolts are much more fun. Still at 500 amps, it's quite a lot. Oh, it's glowing red now, that's good. It's amazing how much the current drops off, actually. I mean, obviously, that's the cable heating up. This stinks. Blowing it all outside. No, I think I'm going to have to stop that there. Yeah. Just melting the insulation. That's all gone really quite disgusting. 